So it's um, morning uh, on a holiday, after the holidays, and my bowling pin shape is in fine form after feasting on cookies and turkey and everything. Um, so we're going to get started, uh, going to unwrap all the lumber. Unfortunately, this, this lot doesn't get too much sunlight, um, so it's a little bit, it's, if it seems a little bit dark, um, don't worry, just <laughs> right behind the camera is a whole you know, swath of sunlight that doesn't ac actually reach over there. So let's get started. Um, I got B with me today again, and um, we're going to work on the cutting uh, of the floor portion of the timber frame tiny house. I'm going just inside the line, just to give me a little bit of grace um, if I make a mistake. So that initially was much different than when I used it before. So the little bit of sharpening that I got, did must have improved it a little bit. No kick back or kick out whatsoever. Okay, 
first three mortises uh, for the three posts on the north sill are done. A couple of errors, a um, couple of overcuts, nothing critical to the structure, but obviously big learning experiences for me. A uh, couple of things I noticed that I need, uh, a, a, a broom, a small broom to sweep the shavings away, um, maybe even an air gun, although I don't have a, a compressor, but a compressor and an air gun. Um, to keep the holes clean, uh, it's, a, it's a real bear keeping the sawdust and big shavings out of that hole and rolling the beam over to empty them out like that is a, is a bigger chore than it seems. So anyway, good progress so far. The next task on these uh, sills are the um, mortise for the the shorter sill going in right here. Um, if you can imagine the post, this is the corner of the house and the post is rising up from that. The other sill is this member right here and it'll slot into this, into the, the tenon on that smaller sill will slot into this mortise. So I've got to cut these out. <laughs> The last part of the sill that I have to do are the pockets for the floor joists. So I've got five of them to do. The middle one is a little bit uh, finicky. Um, and I'll try and get these done before the day's over. The idea is to make two relief cuts down to the mark and down to, uh, into the mark. And then I'll probably flip this over, use the chain mortiser, and go down here, um, this distance, just there, and then chisel it out. It'll come out very, probably one block.
Okay, all finished. Uh, two days worth of work on the two long sills. Next up is the shorter sills, which will butt into them, and then the joists, which will give us a floor. So, thanks for hanging around. It was a great initi initiation, uh, getting these, uh, tackling these, and getting them done. Um, so, thanks for staying with me. Um, we'll be back um, probably in a video or so. The most difficult um, cuts of the tiny house, but um, actually the, the, what do you call it? The plate that goes at the top of the wall which the roof uh, sits on, the plate is probably equally complicated. But um, these were a pretty complicated piece to kick off with. <laughs> but I'm very happy. It took two sessions to get both of them done, um, two days of working. Uh, the first one took about uh, maybe five hours, and this one took about two, two and a half maybe. So. Definitely saw an improvement. Uh, the learning continues. <laughs>